up there. Coins. Green coins, that's gonna be more health. Okay, we can get those. More health, let's take it. And I just lost a bunch of it. All the, like, almost all the health I gained, I just lost. Now, for some reason, I have to get down here. Dry bones! Door up there. Assuming I need dry bones just to reach that door. Or even just that ledge up there. But why would I go there? There's a door. <gasps> Just go down. <gasps> Switch! I guess I'll just go around and get back to where I was. Alright, that's in the way, but I don't care. I'm just gonna. I don't wanna know where the spikes are. I'm gonna get this switched. I really didn't need to run. Damn it, I'm gonna run into all the spikes! I'm getting flashbacks from the cave boy from friggin' SMWCP. There's that fart noise again. If I'm not mistaken. There's a randomly generated Yoshi sound each time you enter one of the levels. And then there's a 1 in 32 chance you'll get a fart noise instead. Yoshi Fanatic said this in the comments section of, well, my let's play of Yoshi Strange Quest. Okay, so I decided to go some other way and now I'm at this warp pipe here. If I jump off a of dry bones and I can get up here. Did I seriously need the blue brown switch to go down here? Alright, so if I run fast enough, then again, it's not easy to do because, you know. Is all this just for a Yoshi coin? Yup. That's just a Yoshi coin. You need the brown switch to get it anyway. I need to run faster than you can think, or see even. So that's why I come out of that pipe. Okay. So we're gonna go up here anyway. As if that never happened. Okay, no! Oh no, no, no! It was, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. And now I'm gonna find, find a reset of something. Now I just wasted time. And health. Oh, and the booze in the way. Like, booze, spikes, everything you don't want is in here. Now, how do I reset the room? Oh, wait, I think I just go down here and go in this pipe. Alright, that's pretty handy. Now I get to restart, like, right where I... Not too far, not too far to go back to restart. That's always good. I'll just need some health. Excuse me, I'm gonna try and get some health back. Okay. Well, I just lost more than I gained. I'm gonna go get some health back. And actually lose more. Now, I think we're gonna find maybe that silver piece switch. Yep. And then I'm gonna have to go back to where the munchers were. Right here. switch. Where was I supposed to go and use this again? I know this is the first room of the level. If I go in the pipe, I just... Oh, I only restart from... Okay. I guess I'll try and not die. Wait a minute. Why is there a door here? Locked off by block so I can't even pass through it. So it's like I can't even reach the door. Maybe I'm supposed to go a totally different way. I can't see anything. I'm trying not to get knocked back into a hole or something. I guess I have to go a completely different way. I want to get to that door. Yup. So that's it. Uh, uh. Not helping. There we go, now we're on the door. Oh, another switch. But what do I do here? I guess I go left. Up! Up some more! If I go up... Okay, do I just take that door? Can I just take that door and be fine? Now oh, there's water. Okay, I haven't been here before. We're going somewhere. Now we just left the mansion? Exit! Wait, that was the secret exit? Wait, how am I gonna find the normal one? 
Wait, that's an exit? I thought we were gonna hit a midpoint or something. Okay. So I just found a secret exit by accident. Apple Woods! I'm going. Underwater again. What happened? I died by eating the fish! There's something I'm missing. Set the message box. Apples kill you. Oh! If your tongue touches it, does it also kill you? So the little apples are gonna fall down on your head. Or berries, even. If, whatever. Really cheerful music. For a level filled with the apples that kill you. So the fish just don't do anything different. Okay. This looks like a really easy level still. Despite all the death. I don't need to go up that ledge for that coin. Oh, this is really happy music. Man, this is the catchiest music in the game so far. I don't know what it's called, so yeah. Oh! I don't know if the blue ones are instant kill. Frankly, I'm not exactly 100% sure which apples are instant kill if all of them are. Or at least all the pink and red ones. Can I go under here and be fine? Yep, that's good. Oh, midpoint! And now there's Porky Buffer. Alright, oh, the apples kill you. It's like I forgot the level was even called Apple Woods. Okay, the blue ones kill you instantly as well! I don't know if the pink ones are instantly killed. I'm not gonna try and bother to find out. Let's just avoid all the apples. Nonetheless. Okay, this Porky Puff doesn't swim to whatever height you're at, or is this always float up? But this thing's gonna follow you through the whole level now? Really? I mean, it's so much slower than this thing, so I really gotta be careful with how I trick it to get around it. I really gotta fake it out here. Right, those are just coins. I'd rather get- okay, I would rather go hit by the Porky Puffer than hit possibly one of the apples, so... I can't get over how cheerful this music is. I seriously can't. Alright. Urchins, urchins. Oh, one well, of the blue apples. Right where I was tr thinking that was a perfect safe spot. Anything to not get knocked back into the apples, because they'll instantly kill you. I mean, that's gonna be annoying when it happens, come to think about it. And how am I supposed to constantly keep moving for around this Porky Puffer? It's not easy, you know. Okay, another blue apple. Yeah, the blue ones instantly kill you as well. So don't let anything touch you. Why does this stage have to have so many more apples than all the other ones? Oh boy, look. Okay, there's a... We'll just let that fall then go in the pipe just in case. Alright, we're out of there. I don't know if these apples are gonna kill you. I'm not gonna... We're not... What, do you think I was gonna use a safe state to find out? I don't need no safe states. Star Road. 
Yep. We're going to a bonus world level. www.level.com <laughs> I wonder if that's actually a real website. Uh, I'm not gonna bother to find out. It very well may be though. I wonder who's actually gonna type this in their browser to see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna look like the level I'm gonna play, but... Uh. Wait, I am a cursor? Okay, I've seen Windows levels before, but I've never been a cursor. Can I click on Lunar Magic? Okay, so this button clicks down. I can't click Lunar Magic. Do what? Do I have to click the start? Do I have to click... Okay. Do I have to click Yoshi's Strange Quest? I'm already playing it. Oh. Yahoo! Yoshi Fanatic presents. Wait, what? Why are we all of a sudden back on the title screen? Oh. We're playing the title screen. Beware all the food found in these planes is. Is that the same gimmick as in Fattening Planes? Except now I'm actually playing the title screen. The music is there. The title stuff is also there. Yep, I am literally playing the title screen. And I have a key for some reason. And I have a feeling this text is gonna get in the way. We know who made this, goddammit. I have to find out where to use the key. Maybe it's gonna be an end of level thing. So I'm actually playing the title screen, wow. I don't think Yoshi Fanatic was the first ever person to say, hey, let's make the title screen a level. Right, what did that do? I just hit a switch. I'm gonna hope I find something in the sky just by hitting that. Hmm, cookies. But again, again, we gotta avoid those. I'm still playing the title screen. I'm trying to find something. Something that has to do with this key. Or is all that stuff there just to show off, hey, this isn't gonna be a night hack. Hey, wait a second, is, is there a removal reason? To have the player enter a pipe during the telescreen demo? Oh well, it's not Yoshi's fault this game gets deleted. <laughs> but we're not actually on the title screen, we're just in a level that's a copy of the title screen. I have a feeling I just threw away the secret exit. So what's gonna the rest of this gonna be like? Well, there's our midpoint. I had a feeling we we're gonna have a longer level than just like those few screens. So that explains why we just ended up on the title screen for no good reason. Okay, I can hover there, but that's a risk. Or do I have to go? Okay, I have to go there. No other way of going. I knew it would work. So level.com. I can go up here. What's the point of this? It's just a dragon coin. I don't even need that at all. So you know I give zero fucks about these dragon coins. Wow, first time I said that one in a while. Alright then, am I supposed to do something with these bullets or- Okay, I can just flutter jump and be fine. Springboard! That's gonna get me my midpoint! I don't know what this pipe is for. It's to reset. And to duplicate your springboard. But then again, like... I don't think we're gonna need two springboards at all! If I bring two springboards, will I actually be able to break the level somehow? So let's get our midpoint. If I bring the other springboard, what happens? Alright, now we're in the... Okay, so we were in a giant chasm-esque, or chasm-esque level. And now we're back at the lake. Is this supposed to be like Key Lake or something? Really, where 
the secret exit be? Would it be just carrying the key through the entire level? Okay, I don't want to lose more coins. Honestly, I don't think I should have the springboard, but hey, I was able to duplicate it just by using the reset pipe. I mean, it's always better to have the reset pipe there. I'm just saying, I got this extra springboard. Ah! ah, classic Yoshi's Island music. What can we do without that? And we can't just bounce over that. All these levels have invisible ceilings. I mean, I can't blame them for that. I mean, I wouldn't want to build a level for it to be broken immediately. Okay, I can get this coin. Despite the fact I didn't get these, the other ones. Okay, stars that just fell through the ground. Well, one of them anyway. Now what? Another midpoint. And now we're in the castle. Ah, uh, where the hell would the secret exit be? And this is what? Supposed to be based off of the dragon's den? Except I'm not gonna send me all over the place looking for keys. So this is like a more linear dragon's den. Oh, okay. What? Yeah, level.com sure is big. I don't know if I'll get it done in this part. Or if I'll have to just do another part to finish it. And of course continue on the rest of the hack after that, but... Okay, finally we did that. Those are just quite a few coins, actually. Or I could just use a springboard I've carried, like... Bunch of the ways through the level. Alright, we are gonna need a key. I don't like where this is going. I guess for some reason, if you wanna see what's down there. Okay, I guess so you can just look at this obstacle here. Right now, I gotta. Okay, can I I'll just leave the springboard back here because I'm going to be coming back anyway, right? Out of eggs. Now I gotta somehow squeeze Yoshi in here and do a ground pound and not hit that spike. Okay, that's done. Pipe. You don't even get to use it. So we just gotta go around now until we get to that key and then Next part of the level, I guess. Alright, let's just add. Okay, I'm gonna need some eggs here, I think. Actually, no, why do I even have to go there at all? If I do this, what happens? Okay, do we need that Koopa for something? Them for something. Yep, there's that shell. That's gonna be a vine in there. Yep. Uh, this is going to take a while. Okay, that was just for a dragon coin. Point, right? Yep. Sweet! Why is Q sure is big executable file? <laughs> 